Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for today's webinar. Uh, today we are going to look again at warehouses. So if you go to products, under products you'll see warehouse management. And we're going to go to inventory, transfer inventory. Oops, let me go ahead and log in here. Okay, so back to products, warehouse management, inventory, transfer inventory. All right, so if you see right now it says transfer from warehouse A and you can transfer to a different warehouse. So you would obviously first you'd have to go in and, and add the warehouse, but I've already done that. So we're going to transfer from warehouse A to warehouse B. And then the product you can see that we have inventory and 109, but I want to transfer, let's say, and oh, the one thing that you have to do is you have to pick the category and then the product that you're going to transfer. All right, and then go ahead and check mark right here the SKU ID and the amount that you want to transfer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transfer 50. All right, and we're going to do transfer inventory. And here is data saved success successfully. Okay. So here's our warehouse A, warehouse B, and here it shows any time that you transfer anything. You see it gives you the date, the amount that you transferred from A to B, so that's nice. And then if you go to the product, regardless of what warehouse you have it in, it always keeps track of the amount that's available on hand. So we can go to SKUs, and it shows in stock we have 116, seven pending available after that would be 109. So it's nice that even if you have 10 different warehouses, you know exactly how many you have on hand and if you need to replenish. All right, well thank you for joining me for today's webinar and uh, we will see you at the next one.